Hi, my name is Carol and welcome to your yoga snack. Um, all the movements we done on your back today. And you don't even need a yoga mat to do this activity. What you will need is something for behind your head and neck. So I like to just take a blanket or towel and fold it to whatever height feels comfortable. And then if you're using a yoga mat, sometimes they're very sticky. We're gonna try some sliding movements. So take another blanket and lay it out as long as your hips to heels are underneath the blanket. And since we will be doing some sliding movements, some somatic work, why don't you take the end of the blanket and tuck it underneath your yoga mat. Just so as you slide your heel up and back, it will stay in place. And then find your way onto your back. First, you're just going to take a constructive resting pose. Just laying down with your knees bent. Your feet can be a comfortable distance apart. And then just allow your knees to fall in towards each other. Just check in with how you're feeling. Check in with your body, your breath, and your mind. Just taking a quick pause here. And then open up your eyes, extend both legs out. And then reach your arms away from your heels. Flex the toes up to the ceiling and spread your toes. And then one side at a time, reach your right fingertips away from your right heel. So you're lengthening the right side of the body. And then other side, kind of like you're climbing a ladder. The left fingertips away from the right heel. So you're expanding one side laterally at a time. You could go a little faster, create some heat, <laughs> or take it nice and slow. And then come back to center, dragging one heel in and taking the sole of the foot towards the inner leg line. So you're in a reclined tree pose and sliding it back out. So these are our little tree slides. Just taking one leg at a time. You could go as far as you want, just opening up the hip naturally. And just complete the one you're on. And then the next time that knee is in towards you, just hold that reclined tree pose. Breathing here. And then drawing that knee up to the ceiling so now the sole of the feet is down on the mat. And you're just going to open so you're rolling onto the blade edge of the foot and then close. So a little internal and external rotation of the hip, rolling on to the little toe side edge and the big toe side edge. You should feel your lumbar spine, your low back curve up from the earth. And then the next time your thigh is over your opposite thigh. It just holds it in a little twist. You could even hug the knee in a little bit more. And draw that knee in the opposite direction. If you're hitting the closet wall like I am, it's <laughs> adjust. So you're rolling onto the outer edge of your base leg. And just breathe here. You can gaze out over opposite shoulder. and come back to center. Release the leg, just pause. See if you notice differences, right and left side. Recenter your hips, recenter yourself on your mat. And take this on the other side with tree slides. So sliding that leg in and out. 
Drawing the knee in towards you. Sole the foot to the inner leg line. It's going back and forth, just noticing how your hip feels. And then finish up the last one you're on. And then hold your supine tree. Taking the sole of foot down to the mat, knee up to the ceiling, and rolling onto the blade edge of the foot, opening to external rotation and then internal rotation. So you're getting movement not just in the hip, but in the ankle and the foot as well. And then next time your thigh crosses over the midline, See if you could hug your thigh a little bit closer, roll on to the outer edge of that right extended leg, and then open up into a little twist. So you're not forcing yourself into the twist. This knee, it's fine if it's away from the floor. Even if it's like a football yard away from the floor, that's okay. So as long as you feel some sensation and the length of your spine is a nice healthy twist. And coming back to center, hug both knees in towards your chest, but then take your knees out a little bit towards the tip of your shoulders. So very modified happy baby pose. Just drawing thighs into chest. Can rock a little side to side here. And then release your feet down to the mat. We'll end with a little spinal undulation. So recline cat cow or think of pelvis tilts. So hands to the sides of your pelvis. Just find where the bony landmark is. And just start with tilting your pelvis forward and back. So think of this anterior pelvic tilt. You're getting really deep cave underneath your lumbar spine. And the posterior pelvic tilt, or you might hear that cue of tucking your tailbone under, you're pressing your low back down into the mat. So if it's helpful, you can keep your hands to your hips or just place your hands on the side. Just going back and forth. And the movement should really be from the strength of your abdominals pressing down and the strength of your back muscles lifting. Try to relax and release some activity from your glutes and from your legs. And you shouldn't be pressing too much down into your feet. And the next time you have that arch in your back, just open up your throat a little bit up to the ceiling. And then press the lumbar spine down, tuck slightly chin into chest. Let's continue this motion. If you need to, you can actually take your hands behind your head and interlace them just for a little bit of support. So very slight movement. And now let's get our upper back in on the fun. So next time you're anterior pelvic tilt or that big gap underneath your low back. Tilt your forehead up, open up. And then the next time your lumbar spine comes down, it just gets a little shaky, a little yogi crunch. Tuck chin into chest, elbows lift up. And continue this, filling up on your inhale. And exhale, breathing in and out through the nose. Just a couple more. And 
And then release and find your Supta Baddha Konasana. So soles the feet together, knees out wide. And get any adjustments underneath you so you feel comfortable. Just close your eyes. Just breathe into your space. Slowly close your thighs and hug your knees back into your chest. And then open up your eyes. You can come to your side and slowly push yourself up. Thank you for joining me for your little mini yoga snack. And these are great to do anytime during your day when you just need to unwind and find a little bit of movement, but maybe you don't have all the time in the world for an hour practice. But if you do, please find my full length videos on Vimeo. I have an on-demand site there we can rent for $3 or purchase a video for five bucks. And I will see you next time. Thank you very much.